Hi, Daredevil again. When shit got real, I began wrapping my hands like this. I wanted to return to the old ways, more brutal ways. This is evidenced by the fact that I chose to wear my old costume instead of getting a new super suit, which had nothing to do with the fact that that super suit looks stupid as shit and this outfit looks awesome. But you might be wondering, as are many others, the fuck are Muay Thai ropes? What's up, I'm Mike and this is Hard to Hurt, a channel dedicated to fitness and self-defense where we dispense with the bullshit commonly associated with both those topics. But occasionally, I do videos like this, but this is mainly just to soak up some of those search views. But if you, like many other people, are searching for Muay Thai ropes, you won't really find anything. The ropes that Daredevil was wearing around his arms are not called Muay Thai ropes. Nobody calls them that. I don't know why they went with that. I guess because they're called card chook and then no one would be able to spell that to search it and you wouldn't have found my video. So card chook are a staple of an ancient Thai martial art tradition. That's what they used to wrap their hands with when they fought. But what's crazy is they still have fights to this day where they use the card chook and they're actually gaining popularity. You'll hear a lot of nerds like on forums and stuff like that. You say, it's not actually from Muay Thai, it's from Muay Baran. That's, they're also dumb because that's not really anything. Muay Baran just means ancient boxing and it's sort of like a blanket term for all of like ancient Thai martial arts from which Muay Thai among many others, has descended. What are you doing? What do you got? Remy, don't, don't do that. Why are you doing that? What I don't get is when she walked in. She wasn't scared? She was not scared. Hey, you. Get back your teeth in. You will keep my secret. You will tell no one that I never trained Muay Thai. <laughs> Um, Remy, what's happening? <laughs> they do a surprisingly good job. Now, I am a little used to it. Sometimes I hit the bag just in wraps, and I do hit the bag bare knuckles. Sometimes I'll link to a video on that, but these things kind of do the trick. I've done this before and uh, the way I wrap them, this isn't really how I wrap them, this is kind of like intentionally ugly. In the show, his are like kind of haphazard and I don't know if that's like no one knew how to tie them or like that was like part of the characterization. Like maybe he doesn't really know how to tie them but he can get the job done because he doesn't care so much about protecting his hands but about inflicting as much damage as possible. Because these things are brutal, these knots, uh, <sighs> I can only imagine that they really, really hurt. And when this thing's wrapped really tight, you can hit just about as hard as you want to. You can choose to make these knots or not make these knots. I'm gonna link a video below where a guy does a beautiful version with these sorts of knots. Essentially, the knots form a knuckle pad. You can wrap these up just as many different ways as you can use cloth wraps. And how you know that a guy doesn't know what he's talking about if he ever tells you, that's not the right way to wrap your hands. Because there is no right way to wrap your hands. There's what works for you, what feels comfortable for you, and what supports your hand the best. You can lock the thumb or not lock the thumb. Um, don't listen to fucking experts that say, there's only one way to wrap your hands. Chances are that they've never knocked anyone unconscious with their fist. Within the narrative of the story, I don't know whether this was intentional, but in a card chook rules fight, there's no judge's decision. You only win or lose by knockout. That's it. Kind of jives with what was going on in the story. I won't spoil it for you in case you haven't watched it. So that's what Muay Thai ropes means. If you're still interested and you want to find out more, I'll put lots of links in the description below. All kinds of videos and matches and stuff that you can find on it. Uh, not just stuff from my channel, stuff from all over YouTube. If you want more fitness tips and self-defense techniques and you know martial arts bullshit and see me beat my kids up, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'll put a subscribe button 
right about there. And I'll put some videos up over here, you know, some other things that might be interesting to you.